Lord was the first word I learned. This is what my endearing mother taught me as a child. She told me that when I was seven she saw an angel at the foot of my bed. That she heard the angels say, Rupert, you play your violin for the Lord's ears and you shall play better than anyone in Germany. She said the angel told her, Rupert's life is not his own, yet only God's to guide. My mother told us stories from old Germany of how the handsome King Ludwig lost his life and many believed the conspiracy to kill him. That she knew a baroness that showed her the real jacket that had two holes in them and my mother was allowed to poke her pretty pale fingers through the king's jacket. The one he had been murdered in. And that night she knew that Providence was a part of her life and that her son would be someone special, higher than a king, even Ludwig, that her son would be a priest for the king of kings. Eat, eat from your heart's desire. Rupert, what's the matter? Papa, there is a higher father, and he demands we give homage to him before a morsel of food is in our mouth. He's right, you know, and we have not said grace for the last several nights. Oh yes, Papa, and of course, they won't let us out of purgatory if we don't cross ourselves and pray. You have no idea how correct you are, my brother. Only because I'm afraid of purgatory. If that's what it takes for you to enter the kingdom of heaven, so be it. Fear. Yes, we are all afraid. I'm not afraid. I do it for love. I love the Lord. Mother. She always smiled and made me proud to be a man, a priest, and a German. In those days, Germany was filled with a giving spirit, a humane spirit, a gentle spirit. a sacrificing spirit towards their fellow man. Bavaria was Catholic. The country was warm, yet the smell of blood was somehow near. God bless you. Well, God, the end the war. Will he save those boys on the front? Rubbish. There is no heaven. And for sure, the only hell is here, the earth. Wait a little. Sir. What is it, Father? You are not a believer, and yet you drop coins in my can? I have seen you. You care for people. You truly have a very good heart. I knew your father. He was a businessman in Stuttgart, and I sold some oriental carpets to him. You could have had a better life. However, you are running around, and in these riches, wrecks, clothes, I feel sorry for you. The only reason I drop coins. You are a Christian in hiding, sir. 
You will be blessed. And I hope you find the Lord someday. Listen, Father. My mother died long ago. Forever she was alive, she would have beat me down if I did two things. Not eating her matzo soup and not remain a Jew. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, sir. Donna? Yes? Donna from Bayern. I remember you. You were in Regensburg. My papa, he was there during the convention. We had sausages and hot apple cider. It was the coldest winter I have ever seen. I, I do not... Uh... Uh, Rupert Meyer. I... Well, I played violin for your father that night. Oh, my God. Now I remember. I'm so sorry. Um, it was Vivaldi. Yeah, you have a good memory. Well, I hope so. I'm studying to be a lawyer. Oh, that is so wonderful. I knew, I knew it when I saw you, when I met you, that you would be someone that made a difference. You, you became a priest. I mean, you, your family must be so proud of you. Oh, oh Donna, it's nice to see you, but I, I have an appointment. Uh, family needs uh, counseling, and I'm late. Um, um. It's okay to hug. I'm a priest, not a pillar of stone. I'm so proud of you. Munich needs more men like you. He sits there for hours playing the same song over and over. Just stay down, all right? Where did he go? Fire, man! Fire! Father! Shoot these bastards! That's the order, man! I, I cannot kill! Coward! Coward, you piece of old cowards! My diamond! The piano in the trench! It's been there for many months, sir. We live in this trench for many months. We live and we eat and we die in this church, Father. Stop your playing now! Stop it! No! Killing is one thing. Murder another. Put the vessel down. Put it down! Grenade! Get out! Oh, get out, Father! Get out! Move, move, move! Move, 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 move! move. you pray but but I'm Jewish you're Jewish yes sir it's usual to die in the trench but it's, but it's not so unusual to be a Jew the hundreds of thousands of Jewish soldiers I was given this iron cross I have a brother on the Western Front and a cousin in Italy they've got one too 30,000 Jewish decorated soldiers I feel like dying Strange, but I'm not afraid. Can you read to me the Torah? The five books of Moses, of course. Pray for me, Father, pray! Pray! I thought you said you don't believe! Just in case! Father, do you know me to open last words? I will hear it in heaven! Pray, pray, pray! Oh my God, forgive me for having offended thee! Oh God! Forgive me for playing bad for me! You played well, sir. You played well. You played well. Yes, get up. Take the mask. Get out. Get out. Run, 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 run. Get out. Get out. Move, 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 move! 
Behind that tree! Move, move, move! Out of ammo. Yeah. You bastard, you son of a rat! Father, if God is real, I mean, the women are pretty, but, but how come he made that Russian man so ugly? <laughs> you really fight hard, you bastards. Your hands. You took my friends off me. You took my brother. And the stormtroopers took my whole battalion. It will be a pleasure to blast your face off. Don't kill him. Please take him prisoner. Never. He will bleed in just a few moments. The treaty says you have to take him prisoner. To hell with you. To hell with the treaty. Get out of the way, priest. Please. I beg of thee. Take him prisoner. Get out of the way, priest. Please, I beg of you. Take him prison. Please, I beg of you. Get out of the way, Prince. I will kill you no! too. No! 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 Stop! Stop! Shut up, Priest. I will kill you too. <laughs> Stop it! Do you hear that? What is it? What is it? Landmine. Check them all. The priest, he's still alive. Last month in Marseille, a treaty was signed claiming peace. November claiming that is. God bless you, my man. However, this is a church, not a town meeting. I know well, as you know well. I was a medic and a field division chaplain. I know well sights, smell, and sounds of war. I know well the sufferings of Germany and the rest of the world as the result of this difficult war. My dear brothers and sisters, so many of us have stories. Sons, brothers, sisters, life's memories ripped to shreds I know how you feel. I know how it seems. But we must forget our hatred. We must learn to forgive. Forgive our enemies. Forgive our neighbors, ourselves. Dr. Reichtor, where might you be going? Are my sermons that boring? Father? I lost three of my boys. I lost my sister who took her life when her son was killed in Italy. I lost my wife to grief. I amputated 500 arms and legs personally. I will not forgive the French, the Brits, and especially the goddamn Americans. 
My entire bloodline lays buried in no man's land west of here. I cannot forgive. I can not. Dr. Reichter, our savior suffered immense torture, immense pain, and yes, even death at the hands of a despicable enemy. Are we not less than he? I'm sorry to say, I know it hurts. It hurts to say, it hurts. It took my very soul. My very heart has been ripped out and I'm consumed with unforgiveness. One that hell won't even change. If my unforgiveness deserves hell, then so be it. I light the first flame, but friends will be my second flame. It is easy to see this man's expression is one of never-ending pain. Yet we all suffered together. And we all will rebuild together. We will live again. We will work again. We will smile again. God sees that there is a time for war, a time for strife, and a time for peace. Dear Father, thank you for coming here. You're such a great man. Cardinal Fallhaber even made you president of the Marian Congregation of Men. What an honor to have you here. This flu, the Spanish flu, this disease has killed twice as many people as this damn war. Father, look. Father, don't you see behind you? The winds of war are over, but the devil, he stands behind you. I can see. He's laughing. <laughs> Many of them are delirious. It's one of the latest symptoms of this disease. No, it is no symptom. You see, Father, the devil resides in Munich. He's smiling at all. He, he's smiling at all the rotten. I'm not dreaming, I'm seeing. The devil lives in Munich. Pray for us, Father. Please pray for us. Sister, our Lord is near you. Just call out his name, he's near you. Yes, I see him. I see him. I see his angels. I see. What seems to be the problem, brother? This old slap of clue won't move. He stops every time I'm in Munich. And I have to take the shame and the loss of time. He has brittle hoof, but it's no excuse. He must move! 
Father, if you do not let go of my arm, save this belt for you. I support the church, but I'll be damned if I stop feeding my children over some damn horse. Do you realize that horse is your help? And he's also your brother. Yeah, yeah. He's nothing but a son of a donkey. That horse will move with sweetness much more than bitterness. Oh, sure. I've tried. The only thing that motivates his moves is a nice, strong whipping father. Do you realize how many horses died for us in the war? Do you know how many? Do you? No, father, I do not know. Well, ten million. Do you know how many of God's creatures that is? Ten million died in the war for us. Go back on your cart. And if the horse doesn't move with my words, I'll give you my iron cross. <laughs> I'll be the rightful owner of this iron priest. Watch and see. He's as stubborn as a mule. He won't move. You might as well pin the cross right now, Father. <laughs> Dear Father, I remember reading the Old Testament. It was Numbers 22, 28. Then the Lord made the donkey speak, and it asks Balaam, What have I done that made you strike me three times? If you can make a donkey speak, you can make a horse trot, I believe. Dear fellow, I ask you to move in the name of the Lord. Try the trick with my husband. You might need three apples. Frau von Bayern, it's a pleasure to see you. Well, we both had a great deal of work to suffer. It's not easy saving a city. And I hear you have uh, represented some very important clients, even had something to do with protecting some of the resistance men at the Ruhr. Yes, we got them all safe to Munich, but the French troops are still there. Oh occupation of the Germans by the French. Who could have dreamed? I am a servant of God, my dear. Yet if I had to, I might let the sisters give communion to the French. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm kidding. Father, I'm more serious on that subject than you. The reparations the Treaty of Versailles bestowed upon the children of the war and the grandchildren are more than a heavy anchor. So I pray for God to send us a leader, yet I feel that hatred will be his father. The National Socialists have formed a giant group and are in town now. Please tell me you have not succumbed to that extreme. I love my country. I love our traditions. But I do not love to hate. The Nazis. There was a meeting yesterday the Birol Putsch. It was a very intense situation. And there is a march today, a Nazi march. I hear the numbers are not large. And I pray to God they die out like the flu then.
for the poor. Arms for the poor. God bless you, Father Mario. Thank you, Lord. Japan invades China. Japan invades China. Get the paper. Get the paper. Oh. I have not been to church for over two months. I feel a curse. Dear Larissa, curses are for witches, not Christians. I have seen a curse many times as I read the Holy Word. I have seen prophets curse. I have seen God himself curse. Larissa, our Father never gives us anything we cannot handle. Thus saith the Lord also. Father, there is a room in the street, and in the factory where I saw a rumor that Hitler will invade my old country, that he wants his old land of Germany back, and that he will kill my mother, my sisters, and my brothers when he does so. My dear, Poland is a strong country now. It's not like it was in the 20s. Now it's strong and vibrant and filled with strong ideas and men and women. Father, I have been evil. I have slept with a man. I have loved a man. I have kissed his lips and sinned against the flesh, against you, against the church. Yet, Father, I will never deny my Christ. Not if even 10,000 men with 10,000 guns were printing me to the floor. Will God forgive me, Father? He was a married man. Larissa, it's not the time. It's not a confession. I'll come tomorrow. No, Father, please. I need you to tell me now. Please tell me that God forgives me. I need it now, at the streets, under the moon. Please, I need to get rid of this curse. My dear, I beg you, come tomorrow. No matter how long the parish nurse, I promise I will take you first. I promise I will take you first. My dear, I beg you, come tomorrow. Arms for the poor. Arms for the poor. Good morning, sir. God bless you for coming. I remember you. I haven't seen your face for many years. You are almost a stranger. We all need to welcome strangers. We all need to welcome foreigners. We all need to welcome people who are not Germans. And we see so much chaos in our own streets. Reds against the Nazis. Nazis against the left, brother against brother, sister against sister. Has not prophecy obtained her place? If we change our beliefs, if we change our spirits to appease a government, a regime, we might as well take the mark of the beast. Yes. This peace could well be within our sights. We must stand strong. A strong German nation. A compassionate German people. A compassionate, giving, loving, forgiving German people. Not one of some fascist, ideology, one that tells us to hate our brother, one that speaks of killing our sister, one that demands we annihilate strangers amongst us. My dear fellow, where might you be traveling to in such a hurry? Father, my wife is at home with our newborn child. It's a boy. The doctor said it would not happen. 
But I did. I believe it's that miracle. I believe it's the same God as you, but the words you are preaching now is a web. And that web could catch us. And we all be bitten by a spider, then it's much mightier than the Pope in Rome. That spider has millions of guns and millions of soldiers with the same idea. I have seen the Jewish markets and thorns are, are broken and trashed and the people thrown to the street. You must do as Jesus did. What? Be a pacifist? To look away? Yes. His wisdom remains. And yes, it is understood. Yet, did not Jesus whip the money changers? Did he not reveal a zealous anger? A godly anger and strength at times of necessity? I feel if we stop trying now, we allow evil to exist. Did not the apostles cast out the devils? The spiders, as you say, can still be cast out if we are a strong voice now. I love my son too much. Good day, Father Meyer. May God protect your body and your soul. My dear brothers and sisters, today I have a surprise for you. Mrs. Anna Wunder, Mr. Gabriel Goldberg, from our Jewish community, will perform the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. <laughs> does the church believe? A man is measured by the size of his heart, by the length of his forgiveness. And what does the Nazi regime express? Hate, war, resentment, 
discrimination. Jews, our fellow Jews, to be sent out like cattle to a field of the unknown. Father Rupert Meyer, you are arrested. If anyone in this church, anyone that is even one word against our fatherland, Adolf Hitler is our God. Young man, do you know who are you mocking? Do you know the kind of man you just arrested? He's a servant of a living God, not a dead God. Not a walking corpse like you are. Do you think you will not answer for what you, as you like, you have done? What have you done to my Germany? To my pretty, confessionate, brave Germany? We are like animals, beasts, to the world. Old man, you know whom you're speaking to like this. I'm a decorated officer. I risk my life in the First World War for my fatherland. I've been in the front of no man's land and lost both my legs for my fatherland. Never have seen an enemy on the field or on any trench. Like a devil I've seen in your eyes. But I have heard what you are doing in the camps. I have heard. That's no Germany. That's no German people. Oh. Old man. Ask your God to send you an angel. I'm, I'm not afraid to die. I am not afraid to see who created me. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. resistance group. But don't worry, Father, you won't miss out. We all know the Jews control the theater business in Munich from long ago. And tonight, they will be part of the Jewish opera. <laughs> Please, Father, be my guest.
Good night. I'm so sorry. I tried to keep her in waiting. Mrs. Sebastian, I thought we canceled our appointment. Mother, we have a boat to catch in exactly eight hours. Son, I know. This is of great importance. An entire family's life is at stake here. Uh, shall I? Uh... It's fine, Fräulein Dietz. Please attend to the documents. Yes, ma'am. Son, please give Attorney von Byron a nice and privacy. Please, Mother, try and rush. We won't be late. Mrs. Sebastian, please take seat. Please forgive me. I know we've spoken before. It seems every moment I'm in this country, it gets cold. I don't suppose you're speaking of the weather, Mrs. Sebastian. Right, you are. Joanna will do just fine. Joanna, listen. Regarding the family and Mr. Stern's art, I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone as of yet. The last time we met was just three days ago, so I could not do anything. This is no ordinary family. Stern's have collected some of the most sought-after art in the world. He suffers only because... the only reason being that... Because they are Jewish. I understand you well. Do you think this is something that I do not wake up with every day and questioning myself why? Why is not the question. How? Oh, damn it. How in the world? How does this happen? I have known this man for years. I have known this family. 
I have bought his art, I have collected his art, I have displayed his art, I have watched this man work. He is one of the most respected men in the world in art. How does a country with such culture, a country with such history, how does it fall to its knees for some bumbling, some, some unattractive, some underweight, bumbling, slimy, squirming snake? And, and don't forget that little, <laughs> it's not a mustache, it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> Clark Gable. Now there's a mustache. I think we have similar tastes. <laughs> My dear Donna, I have represented this man's art for a decade. He is responsible for my career as an art dealer in New York, and he is a dear, dear friend. I beg, I plead with you, get him out of here. They've confiscated his U.S. passport and they answer to no one. He has tried all and you are my last resort. They have taken his art. He has no idea where it is. I can't stay any longer. My husband threatens that he will not only divorce me, he will take our son. He worries so. Rightly so. Try and listen. I'm an, I'm an attorney, not an angel. Even when the Nazis were not in charge, systems were very difficult to move here. Understood. This is for you. Own it. 5,000 Reichsmark. I'll get you more from New York. I beg, please get him out of here. I will do all I can, I promise you. But for sure I cannot accept money for this. This is something anyone with a soul would do from his soul. I understand even some of your own. Your town hero, he suffers under this regime? Father Rupert. Father Meyer was released from prison this week. Yes. He does not submit to the powers that be. There should be more of that kindred spirit here. Father Rupert Meyer is damn well right. My prayers are with him. Mother, it's time we leave Germany. Donna, with Father Rupert Meyer, and my dear friend, Mr. Stern, I bid you go. I don't hear anything. Hear? What don't you hear? The bells. The church bells. Near confessional, always blazing. My favorite sound. Father, sorry, I, I have to report something to you. That... Say it, son. I'm a seasoned man. I assure you that. Father, Early this morning, the soldiers, they came and they took the belts. They took them all. What in God's name do the Nazis want with church bells? 
Bullets, father. It was in the newspaper this morning. They are taking all they can to create more bullets. Never would I thought I would see this day. Father, may I enter? Yes, please do so. Son, tell me your mind. Confess to one another. I'm a sinner as you, and it is not I who forgive you. You were forgiven by his stripes over 1900 years ago. Are you, Father, a sinner? I don't know if that is true. What is it you need to express, my son? Father, you've seen so many things over the years in Munich, in the war, and your life, the change in politics. This is not a political venue, sir. Yes, I know, Father. That's what I know, but please lend me your ear. My heart is troubled and curious. Continue. Father, the Nazis have taken all control of Germany. Hitler has taken total control. He has won the allegiance of each man, woman, and child. No, I think not. What do you mean? Are you saying that you are against the Führer? I am against anyone who kills with an unmerciful heart. I'm against anyone who will destroy our Germany with an iron hand of uncompassion. And I'm against anyone who poses as a god when there is only one god. Blessed be his name. Can I help me understand? Are you saying that it is not true that Adolf Hitler has done many positive things for Germany? Because there was a long list in the paper just the other day. I am a priest, not a politician. You surely could have fooled me, Father. I listened to your sermons. Very interesting indeed. They have the fervor of a lion, yet an eagle hovers near. Whatever do you mean? Are you here to confess or to confuse? Father, I will list to you the things that Adolf Hitler has done for Germany. He is not my leader. There is only one leader. There is only one power. And there is only one I listen to. And that is Father God. The Führer has outlawed the filthy use of tobacco. This should find favor with God, yes? Only one I follow. He has outlawed vivisection, the harm to animals and experiment. Noah carried two of each animal. God should find favor there now. My God, I follow. Only his word is all I need. He has encouraged breeding programs for young Germans. Doesn't the book say, be fruitful and multiply? God's word is not to be twisted for Nazi dreams. What dreams, Father? The Führer has commissioned Ferdinand Porsche to give an economic low-maintenance automobile to the common man in Germany. The book says, give to those who are in need, does it not? All is vanity in God's eyes. All material gain is vanity, especially when some are being persecuted for the betterment of others. The Führer has given us the Autobahn. Father Meyer, don't you understand the Autobahn? This most genius piece of design in the world Kilometer after kilometer of genius. Kilometer after each that carries bombs and bullets and fire that destroys the homes of innocent Polish children and others. He has created a fleet of cruise ships for the use of the common working men in Germany. The first ever cable network for radios. It was written about in the US papers. They envy our leader. The Antichrist shall be a man of pride. Revelation states. The Führer has put 869,300 men to work in a forestry program under the Third Reich. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall live on forever. He has boosted our economy from one of the worst in Europe to one of the best in the world. Brilliant, just brilliant. He's an alchemist gifted by time itself. He has boosted research on radiation, asbestos, heavy metals, alcohol effects. He has mandated the producing of 
organic foods, encouraged vegetarianism and natural healing. He's pursuing alternative energy instead of oil or nuclear energy. His aircraft problem is one of the most brilliant ever known to mankind. He is the prince of the power of the air. Satan himself. <laughs> Fisher, take him. Take him. You have the audacity to crawl. One of the greatest, most regal, most elegant men ever. A devil? You call the Führer the devil? Each word you've been saying is recorded on here. This is technical progress, Father. Gestapo, you will all burn in hell. Take him to Landsberg. Take him out of my sight. Off to prison you go. Go, father. You're an enemy to the state, an enemy to the Reich. Off to purgatory you go. And while you rot in hell, worshipping your dirty, pathetic pope, we will be flying to the moon. Adolf Hitler sending rockets to the moon. The moon, father. Iron Man will be the first to conquer the moon! cross. I'm not allowed to give it to you. God bless you, young man. The count was good. We meet at lunch. Make it so. Father Meyer? I've seen you playing for months. I believe you are a brilliant player. Yet, with all due respect, I feel you are depressing. I passed your face. Do you know who you're talking to? Simon, I'm fine. I can lend my ear to this man. He seems a gentle critic compared to some in Munich. Thank you. I used to own four butcher shops in Munich, Father. I had three brothers, two sisters, and a mother and father who worked 34 years to develop those shops to hand them over to all of my siblings. We lost all of this in one day. Yet, he has some special skills with butchery. And the orders are to keep him for the kitchen in Dachau. So far, make the preparations for his release tomorrow and transport. I've been here two years. 
And tomorrow I'm traveling to Dachau. A concentration camp. And your parents? All of them killed. Slaughtered. All of them. I'm nothing to live for, nothing to breathe for. When I leave soon, I will kill one of those officers. I want to die. I don't want to live in this hell. And I want to be shot in the street like my honorable father. I hear he screamed about the Gestapo the whole way until he had almost a hundred bullets in his body. Hmm. My father played fiddle fuss. Hmm. He was the best in Munich. He was a great butcher, but even more a brilliant fiddler. Priest, do you want to play for me a Yiddish song? Once my father played, he loved all these songs. Some smoke at the gallows, their last wish. I don't smoke, I don't drink, but I loved my father's fiddle. Can you play for me any Yiddish music? I used to play some at the mission and on my travels. Shall I play for you? You really want to do that for me? Even though I don't say Hail Mary? No. You are whom you are. And I cannot even change my own sinner self. Who am I to think I have the audacity to do so to you? Play, please. Please play. If you play in this German prison, I will think you are like my father, a real father, a man with chutzpah. Do you have chutzpah, father? Afraid of those big, bad Aryans? <laughs> Your savior, he never was afraid of anyone. I hear he even whipped some of the bad guys. <laughs> I understand your speech, brother. Just one thing. What is chutzpah? I will tell you if you play. Do you want me to end this, sir? No, I'm not a monster. It will be the last time. Let the monkeys play. Urachim Urachim
get into the vehicle. Death is a door that opens. Please enter. Dr. Schöller, I am deeply honored that you called me here to discuss Father Rupert Meyer's situation in Landsberg prison. It's been nearly two years since my father was buried in Ingolstadt. That's where I was raised. A very proud German family. My father was a farmer. My mother, she worked with children, her fingers to the bones, to give me a good life, an education. And the largest and warmest schnitzel a big growing kid could ask for. And he gave me love, as my father did, love. I understand well this type of history. There is the of Bayern, please. Accept this, this white rose as a token of my appreciation of what you will have to endure in Landsberg tonight. Please, let's go for a walk. There are many lawyers in Munich who are more suited to try and talk the Gestapo out of keeping Father Rupert Meyer in Landsberg prison. Now listen. This is a direct order from the Reichstag in Berlin. They asked me to hire you to represent him at Landsberg, to have a, a mock trial or hearing. There's a place close to Landsberg set up. You to be responsible for a superficial representation at Landsberg in front of Mr. Miller, who is head of the Gestapo in that area. Oh my God, he's a devil. Yes, I'm sorry, I can't disagree. You, you will go there. You will obtain Father Meyer. You will be able to make him come back home to Munich, back home to St. Michael's. If you will manage to cover up his trap, if you will stop his mad preaching that, that sent him to prison for two times now, he can be free. I would be in Landsberg tomorrow. Yet. I'm a coward, so I will send you. If I only could have saved one life of a Jew, of a mother, of a child, I might sleep at night, I might smile at the future. Trying is all that matters. Is it? Is it really? Don't let guilt consume you. We sleep near monsters. You gave me this red rose, but you said, here is a white rose. Look at it again. It is a white rose.
Mr. Müller, I do not smoke. And what do you do? Huh? I'm not here to discuss my personal life. I assure you that I'm not the person who gives any shit of a desperation way of any woman and man in this matter. I'm not here to give Father Rupert Meyer any expression of some circus for the international press. His dead name is well known for his contempt for the Fuhrer, our fatherland, and our courageous men in battle. His since years. His damned religious mouth is spitting out expressions of anti-German rhetoric. This is the reason why I hate him! If I would have been in charge, he would be on his last way, on his last voyage, to Dachau. Contrary to your belief, Mr. Müller, <coughs> human beings Sad to say, uh, only Germans now still have human rights in prison or out. This man, this is one of the most respected and humble priests in our city. Munich has missed him dearly. And both sides, resistance and even Nazis, support him in a bipartisan way. Hundreds, hundreds of people are out in the streets, gathering in the Marienplatz for Father Rupert Meyer. I suggest for you, or the Führer. Are you telling me what is good for our Führer? You have that chutzpah. What does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean, huh? It means courage. Audacity. It means heart and bravery, <clears throat> all of which you have no expressions of, you bubbly fool of hell's fire. You have no right. You have no right. This hearing was in regards to the Human Rights Board that was implemented by vote from the Reichstag. You have no right to keep this man in prison. The Führer himself ordered this hearing today. I want this man released now, or... Oh, oh what? You desperate traitor! I personally will write the letter. Or my father, the colonel from Bayern, will write a personal letter. <laughs> will write a letter to the Führer. The inhumane treatment of Father Rupert Meyer will not be silenced. It's on the streets. It's on radio. And it has even reached the United States. To the hell with the United States. To the hell with Franklin Roosevelt. This old cripple! This is not good for our country. This is not good for Germany. This is a priest. A priest? down to 20%. I've been praying Father Meyer gets out soon. Father Meyer is back.
Father Heinz. Father, you will not like it. A sermon prepared by the Nazis. How the many are afraid. Afraid to come. Afraid of the Gestapo, afraid of prison, the camps. And some, I should say, many, they brought this propaganda. The great Aryan spirit, the great Aryan bloodline. Father, can you imagine? I was at a book burning the other evening. They were burning Freud, Einstein. And they were singing pagan songs as we have taken steps back in history. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord, he stood up. He did not back down from the Romans or any other. He did not back down from the gospel truth, for he knew the truth about him. And he knew the truth was the only sword that could cut down the dragons of his day. The apostles, they followed our Lord's footsteps and his passion. They did not stop preaching, not even at the onslaught of death. Their courage came from another realm. And I'm not even worthy to speak their names. Yet I will say this to you. We all, all of us, we must make this decision now. He won't. He can't. He must not. Will he? We would be courageous, courageous fool. We must not only for humanity's sake, not only for the miraculous chance to save even one Jew, one gypsy, one Paul, one German who remains true to his faith and walk. But we must make this decision now, because our souls count on it. And God is telling us all. He is demanding, we all, all of us, we all must refuse the mark of this beast. And that beast is Adolf Hitler. He's a beast, and I won't take his mark. And I demand my people to refuse his mark. He's a murderer. If he won't shut up, you shut him up. Shut your mouth, priest. Shut your mouth, priest. Hold on. Father, 
if I wash my hands of it. May I address the court? Let it be so. With all my respect, gentlemen, but this was supposed to be a public hearing. No, this is not a public hearing. Father Rupert Meyer, I must warn you, your previous prison sentences have affected your new location. It's not quite the same as before. It's not a prison. Do you have any words to say before sentencing? Yes, I have something to say, I do. So be it. I will never stop preaching. I will never ever, till the last drop of my blood drips out. I will not stop telling the truth. We must stop the murder of Germany's God. brothers and sisters. We must end this madness. From the reports, Father Meyer has been beaten. He has endured prison hangings. He, he has been slapped, spit on. He has endured imprisonment and he has even had serious health issues. Have you tried stopping him? <laughs> Quiet. Father Rupert Meyer, you have been sentenced to Sachsenhausen concentration camp near Berlin. Dear God. You will silent counsel. You will spend the first seven months in solitary confinement until you can learn to be a proper member of this wonderful society the Führer has given his life to us for. You can kill my spirit. Only God can take it. You are all puppets. You are all marionettes. You are under mass mind control. Open your eyes. I saw the first war. I've seen many Jews, they fought by my side. I've seen their arms and legs blown off right in front of me. Their lifeless faces. A sacrifice for my beloved Germany. Tens of thousands received the Iron Cross. They received this Iron Cross for loyalty to Germany. They received this Iron Cross. And many died in my arms. You now condemn them all. God will not have mercy. He will not! And the Jews and the gypsies. I have read the merciless experiments on twins. Merciless! Dear God, is this my Germany? I dare to say, no, it's not. This is not my Germany. This is another land. There were two Israels when Moses came down the mountain. Now there is two Germanys, two, here. You may have it. This is the only cross you will ever see. I'm done with you all.
Private. Uh, Franz, go to sleep. You can't afford any more troubles from the guards. Come on. As well as you, Miss Pakulavitz. Why is he not shackled? And why you have arrived so late? Can't you see he's sick? Oh my God. What is it? What is it, please? It's him. It's him. Father Rupert Meyer. Some sort of virus. He will be fine. He vomited all over the damn vehicle. Let's bring him to sick base. Director orders from Himmler. He has to be set into solitary. Period. Solitary now. May God curse them all and their mothers. A priest. How do they do this to a priest? He was. He's my priest in Munich. It is to everyone. Yes, but a priest who is only good and does for others. I wanted him to pray for me years back. I felt a curse. And I was right. Father. Father. Can you hear me? Oh, my God. Father Maya, what have they done to you? Friend, he's looking great today. I beg of you, both of you. Go back to your living quarters now. The guards come and harm you. Father, drink this. It's my water ration. But I'm full. Drink this, please. Drink this, Father. Drink. No, my daughter, please. Drink. Drink. You need it. No, drink it. I, I beg of you. If you don't drink it, you will. I will die. Am I not dead already? No. A priest who cannot preach is already dead. No, Father, we need you. I hear the Americans have joined the war. They're all big and strong, like mountain bears. And they do not die without ten bullets in their bellies. They will come. They will come. I feel it. The curse is almost over. But you must pray, Father. Can you hold my hand? Father. The Duke and Countess of Bavaria, they attended your church. They said they saw those fly over the church when there were none. They said when Father Rupert Meyer prays, when he prays, God hears his prayers. And that when Father Rupert Meyer prayed for my father. When he was sick, he was well. By the power of Christ, Father, this is chocolate for you, Father. Now I give this to you. It is the only piece of chocolate in the camp, for us prisoners at least. I give it to you. Yet I beg you. Please pray that I will see my mother and father again. Sons, settle your spirit. God answers prayers when a man fasts. And I tell you, my son, I fasted more than I liked. Come here.
It tastes weirder than I could imagine. Thank you, my son. Come here, come closer. Dear father. <laughs> My dear Lord, through your son, Jesus Christ, there is hope. Through this dark place, we feel your light. We feel your shining spirit on the back of the heart. That this young boy, that, that he, that, that this young boy, the Prince of Bavaria, Father. He's the Prince of Bavaria. Let this Prince of Bavaria be blessed. And I beg of thee, Father, that he may reunite with his family. This mighty spirited young boy who gave your servant a taste of sweetness. Susan, your servant's body. I beg of you, Father. I beg that it. Let it be so. Father, please pray for me also. That I might be united with my daughter. She is in the cow. I have not seen her in years. The pain, Father. The pain to not see your own flesh and blood. It is even worse than that. Please, Father, pray for me also. Please. Pray for me. Hey! Go away! Go away! Go back to your work! I will take the boy also! And you know it! Go! Pardon my, it could be so simple. If you only sign the document, they will release you. I have heard this. Why do you want to suffer? All you have to do is stop your anti-Nazi sermons. And I will personally bring you a schnitzel as big as a house. the devil. Military business you're talking about, yes? Colonel, I am here to beg for the life of Father Rupert Meyer. This priest, why this obsession? There are many people in concentration camps, mothers, daughters, old men like me, strong virile men like your cousin. There are many people in concentration camps. Why, why this priest? Why, why does everyone come to his defense? I told you when you were young that bleeding hearts die first. Father, Rupert Meyer is a hero in Munich. 
he is looked upon as one of our greatest living legends. Colonel, you are a great leader. You are an honorable man. Your armies respect your wisdom. I need your help. I have heard of the resistance group. Do you want to be hanging like an old wet towel in Stadelheim? Do you? Sometimes at night, I dream for death. It is not a nightmare. It is a dream. Maybe then, maybe then God will take me from this unreleasable guilt. This guilt that sleeps in my heart, in my mind and my soul. Some of us know what we are doing. Some of us turn other way. Some of us push it away back in our minds. But all of us, deep inside, we know what is happening to these poor souls. Father, I mean the Colonel, he is a priest for God's sake. Does not anyone know what this will do to Germany's image? We are, we are murderers of priests now. Father, today there are reports that in Sachsenhausen, Father Rupert Meyer is on the verge of death. He is suffering from malnutrition and other. When will the line be drawn, Father? When will this stop, Hitler? But don't even mention his name. Mm -hmm. You have no idea how much you are risking your life. Father, listen to me. It is only bad for Germany, bad for Bavaria, bad for the Führer, if this priest dies in a camp. The word is already on the streets. Some renegade papers have printed it, that the father is dying. Listen. I have to be at the Western Front. I have matters to attend to. This is a priest, a holy man. Mm -hmm. He has the Iron Cross for God's sake. He lost his leg in the First World War. He is only in a camp because of preaching the words of our Savior. This cross, what does this cross mean? This cross used to mean something in Germany. The words that came from Christ used to mean something here. Now all I can see is pagan symbols, pagan chants, pagan leaders, and even pagan rituals. This pagan new world order. If Father Rupert Meyer dies in a camp, you will have these streets filled with mourners, with anger, with resentment so high that even the Gestapo with their intimidation tactics won't stop their fury. And even the Führer himself will not stop the fire. Father, someday you will see your maker. And then, how will you answer for this?
You have been released. Released? Released! This order comes from very high up. Very high up! You will finish your sentence in the monastery of Ethel Abbey. Get rid of the shrine!
try hard enough. Sleep, son. Back to sleep. Oh, Cold as a witch's tit in here. Back to work, at ease, at ease, back to work. Lieutenant. Oh. At ease. What's going on with all these uh, bananas, gentlemen? Celebration, sir. Well, the war is over. Sir, I have seen a lot during the battle years. And I thank heavens that this war is over. But I ain't seen an army officer on a sub yet. The next thing is, we'll have the Air Force eating mid-rats with us. Well, I remind you, Lieutenant, I did not volunteer for this particular mission. And for sure my stomach didn't. I see you don't have your sea legs yet. Take this pill with my knees, your weediness. I sure hope so, Lieutenant. How long by train to Munich once we get into Hamburg? It runs about 10 hours, eight in a fast-moving vehicle. Well, I suggest you wire that in. I prefer a U.S. vehicle of the Jeep persuasion. I'm from Paintsville, Kentucky. My daddy always told me a Jeep was like a woman. It outlasts any guy. <laughs> May I ask why Munich, sir? Well, it's not classified, I reckon so. I gotta pick up a priest, some kind of resistance hero. A father, Rupert Meyer, got to be brief him on the concentration camps. First thing I'm going to ask him to do is pray for my stomach. Come here, Arm! Turn it off! Turn it off! Move! 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 Come on! On the wall! Idea, son. Sir, why are you stopping me? I have to take Father Rupert Meyer to the St. Michael's Church just around the corner. Sir, sorry, this is just a warning. Some of the Nazis are hiding inside the houses, coming out like roaches at different times. Yeah, they're coming out like roaches, huh? What happened to the boy? The boy? His parents got assassinated by the Nazis during the liberation. Sorry, son. Max to manhood. That's the diner. German whore. There's been enough pain, enough killing. You leave that woman alone. You go outside and smoke yourself a cigarette, and I won't court martial you.
sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Thank you, sir. Don't let it happen, dear corporal. Father Rupert Maya. So great to see you still alive. You as well. And our Munich destroyed. Donna, not all is lost. Not all. Mrs. 